Peace is not what you think. Peace is in how you feel about what you think. Peace, love, and light to you. It's Mr. Rufus Mitchell, and welcome to episode three of Meditation Made. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about the importance of the emotions that you feel during the time that you're meditating and during the time that you're just sitting around thinking. But before we get started, do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel, and when you subscribe, hit the notification button, and that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Now, why are emotions so important? Well, imagine this. Imagine if all the emotions that you experience every day have a frequency and a vibration that you can feel and that's amazing. And imagine that at the end of the day, when you stop and you go to sleep or you start to meditate, your body calculates the average output of your emotions. Your body calculates the average frequency of your emotions. And, that was it, and that's what it broadcasts into the next day. So what I'm saying is the emotions that you feel, your average frequency when you retire for the evening, that's going to one, cause you to focus on similar emotions the next day. And it's also telling the universe that those are the emotions that you want to experience. So to wrap all that up into why it's important, your emotions affect how the law of attraction works for you. Your emotion affects how the law of attraction works for you. That was the importance of the breathing exercise in episode one. The breathing exercise gave you an opportunity to see what experiences and what events you were having emotions about. And the breathing exercise was also to help you clear your mind. And you have to understand you can't clear your mind. Your experiences, the things that have happened to you, they are probably going to be written in your innate being for the rest of your life. But what's important is how you feel about those events. So the breathing exercise gave you an opportunity to write down the events and see what am, I ha what am I having emotions about. And then the affirmation exercise in episode two. Come on, light. And the affirmation exercise in episode two, it was designed to help you create greater, higher vibrating feelings about the same events. Remember we talked about forgiveness. So when that event came into your mind where you felt you needed to have some type of forgiveness extended to you, you imagine that in your mind. And as you imagine that in your mind, your vibration changes to one to match that. So when you're doing your meditation, what's important is the emotion. You want to feel gratitude. You want to feel happiness as you move those pictures through your mind. And on the next episode, we're going to talk about pictures or visualization because you want to be specific. But today we want to wrap it up and remember your emotions, your frequency, your vibration is the key that is going to unlock what the law of attraction brings to you. See, there's no such thing as activating the law of attraction. You're always doing that. You're always attracting. You're always emotioning and you're always attracting. Peace, love, and light is Ruth. Peace, love, and light is Mr. Rufus Mitchell. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope something that I said and shared with you helps you on this adventure.